Hello. Hi. I just want a good, big slice of cheese pizza. Just one slice of cheese pizza? Okay, perfect. Hey guys, well I'm here in Bronx, New York, um, and the reason I'm here is for a women's conference. If you signed up at my e at my website, then you've already known about this, but I got invited to a women's conference to come out here and speak, and so I've been here um, for a few hours now. I ended up taking a nap because I was so tired, um, and tonight I've got a youth event, and then tomorrow is the actual conference, and so I'm getting ready right now, and um, I just really am just so grateful to be here. Um, shout out to one of my subscribers. Her name is Farah. She's the one who uh, seen me, and she put, you know, wanted me to be a, a part of her conference at her church and stuff like that. So um, I say shout out to Farah. Shout out, girl. And also, too, just their hospitality. It's just been such a great time here. Um, yeah, I'm just so grateful to be here. I'm kind of still tired, though. I'm so tired. It's crazy. But I know I'm going to have to get some really good sleep this later on tonight and tomorrow morning. Um, but I say all that to say, like, I'm so grateful to be here, y'all. Like, I'm so happy. So I'm going get, to keep getting ready. And then I'm going to uh, get fully dressed so I can go to the youth event. All right. Uh I want to show you what they got me. Look. It's an edible fruit basket. I know you can't see it as well because I'll, I put it in the refrigerator. Because I just got pizza when I finally received this and I wasn't hungry yet. But I'm going to munch on this all night. Um, so shout out to them. I'm about to get Oh, God, here's my room. I love that wall. Don't you just love that wall? Well, I'm getting ready to. I'm so low. Like, what? Why am I so low? Okay, whatever. <clears throat> hey guys. Well, I'm getting ready, and I look yellow. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, tripping. I'm getting ready to go to the youth event, and um, I, I don't know what else is going. But I definitely I call my parents because I know I need them to pray for me. Because I love youth. Like I love inspiring youth. And I just want to, you know, make sure God uses me to uplift his children. So, <clears throat> my throat is all dry. I've been praying. But all that being said, guys, is um, I, one thing I want to give you some advice on, okay? When you go to a new place and you decide to stay in a hotel, I want to tell you, always pray over your hotel. This is something that, even in college, I would be traveling for, mini not ministry, excuse me, for biology research. But something God always put in my heart was to pray over my hotel room. Because other people have been there, other spirits have been there, they have done some other things in that room. But now when you come into that room, it's time for it to come under some new authority. It's time for you to make sure that those angels are coming with you. It's time to make sure that you pray over your bed and say, this bed tonight is my bed. I'm going to get some rest in this bed. I'm going to have peace in this bed. I want to tell you, um, one time I did not pray over a room and I didn't even remember. And it, and it wasn't even until days later that I realized that's why I did not have peace in that room. It tells us in the word that Jesus says, come and, and you know, have your peace. But if they don't take your peace, take it with you. I want to tell, take your peace with you. God is saying, when you go into these new rooms, make sure you pray over them. Like me, I already prayed over my bed. I prayed over everything in here. I already know that tonight, this bed is going, I'm going to, um, you know, be manifesting the presence of God in this room. I'm going to be praising. I know I'm going to be preparing my sermon. I know I'm going to be working on some stuff. And I said, I'm going to have a good, peaceful sleep in this room. And I want to tell you that's things you have to start doing even start doing it to your bedroom if you're battling with pornography masturbation things like that and it's all tied and linked into that bedroom okay start praying over your rooms guys i want to tell you spirits try to linger on things okay let's just be honest and you want to be able to know that you are have a peace and a sound mind um and there's been times i've gotten to hotel rooms and i have not had that but you want that okay so i didn't mean to drop a sermon on y'all low-key but um i just remembered that and i want to share that with you if you're traveling with your family or anything and y'all get a hotel room be sure you take time to pray over it even if it's just two minutes touch the bed pray over the bed pray over that room you can just do it in your spirit your parents don't even gotta know you praying over it okay but you personally pray over it because you know that you need new authority to come into that room you're bringing your peace with you you're bringing peace into that room you're bringing love into that room you're bringing the power of god in that room okay so yeah i'm getting ready uh can't you see your girl ready she ready and i'm ready to uh go to the youth thing and then i'm gonna maybe get some dinner and then come back 
and get ready for tomorrow's women's event. I'm so excited here in Bronx, New York. I don't know what I'm dancing to. I don't know what song I'm dancing to. I don't know what song I'm dancing to, but I'm dancing to the beat of Jesus. I'm dancing to the... Okay, let me just let me just chill out. But can't you tell I'm excited? I love this stuff. But guys, I'll see you in a second. So guys, I'm getting ready to meet Farrah. And there's a Farrah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. The youth knot went amazing. I hope you enjoyed those clips, guys. I loved it so much. Shout out to all the youth that just did so well and amazing. Um, but I'm going to go to sleep because I'm working on barely any sleep. And I'll see you in the morning for the women's, for the call to be women's conference here in Bronx, New York. So, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night. I'm literally going to be asleep. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good morning, guys. Well, I got up. I got ready. I'm all ready for the Women's Called to Be Conference. Got some nude heels on. Okay. A little bit. Okay. And right here. I'm just ready. I'm so ready. Uh, so I'm excited for this conference today. My hair is still in the drying stage. Come on, hair. But, um... I'm excited. I'm getting ready to go to the Call to Be conference. I don't speak until around noonish, and so that's all good though. I get to mingle, I get to take some notes, amen. But I'm excited, guys, so I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
But the truth is, I encountered Jesus at a time when I was over my head in sin. I was a freshman in college, and I was the wildest I had ever been. Every weekend was a new party, and every weekend, trust me, was a new partner. I was lost, and I had such a mindset of confusion. Oh, 